people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to FNAF News. You know guys, we don't have a whole lot of time, you know, the clock, it's always ticking, so let's not waste any more time at the start. The first topic is Plush Trap Merchandise. I still am not sponsored by Illumix, but today is the last day to get your Plush Trap FNAF AR merch, so if you haven't got some, you're running out of time. Actually. Hopping into it now, we have a message from Jonachrome a couple of days ago saying that One Night at Flumpty's 3 is basically done. One Night at Flumpty's 3 is more or less finished, and I'm mostly playing the waiting game as far as ports are concerned. So I'm working on those Riddle School Legacy Editions I mentioned in the meantime, hoping I don't have to look at either series again after this year. So yeah, Jonachrome is waiting for all of the ports to be done, and then he says he's going to release one out of Flumpty's 3. But this is exciting, the game is basically finished, and he's just playing the waiting game with, um, I knew I said Lumix, with Click Team. Which, by the way, the iOS port for one out of Flumpty's 1 is coming. Jonachrome said that they are just waiting for Apple to make sure that the game is 100% verified from Scott. And I believe they are working on one out of Flumpty's 2 ports. But, uh, I didn't pull anything up, so that may be my memory just playing tricks on me, but I feel like that would be the way to go anyway, so I have a feeling that they are working very hard on the next port. And now with some either security breach news or news that we are going to talk about later on in the video, we have a brand new voice actor for FNAF. Scott William! He is the brand new voice actor for the Heavy Metal Hunter. Yesterday, he left a review for Scott saying, So great to work with Scott and the team, thanks again. Now, based off of this timing, and I'm totally spoiling future news, I probably should have set this up better, you may think that this is going to be for Matt Pat's game with Scott. However, that may not be the case, because Scott left a review for S Scott Cawthon left a review for Scott William. I just realized I can't say Scott left a review for Scott because then you don't know which one I'm talking about. Scott Cawthon left a review for Scott William back in July. On July 15th, Scott said, amazing work. So, if we are going off of that, I think this is for Security Breach. Remember back in July when we got all those brand new voice lines for the, um, the clean bot? and the femme fatale, kid on the run, friendly but annoying clean bot, that, that's what it was called, kid in a box, what a sweet kid, no evil intentions, robotic overlord. That is when we got all of the security breach voice acting listings. So this makes me feel like this heavy metal hunter is probably Montgomery. I mean, just taking a look at the dude, he is very clearly going to be jamming, right? I'm pretty sure even his Teaser said jam or something. Also, the fact that he said it was great to work with Scott and the team makes me feel like, yes, he is talking about Scott and the people over at Steel Wolf Studios. Rather than talking about MatPat and the Game Theorist team, which I feel like probably wouldn't have a whole lot of influence on the game. Of course, they are working on the game together, and again, we're gonna get into it more later on in the video, but I feel like he's definitely talking about Scott and the team over at Steel Wolf. So I do think that this is going to be for Montgomery the Alligator, and it's just really exciting to get more voice listings because these are amazing. You know, like, it's so great to see that the game is moving forward, even in these tough times, even with people saying, the game's never gonna come out. Very clearly, Steel Will and Scott are working their absolute hardest on this game, which is just incredible. So yeah. That is the security breach news right now. Now, let's move on to some more ports. I was gonna make a video about this, uh, but then I decided not to for some reason, so I'm gonna throw it in here. The cover for the core collection has finally been revealed. And this is what they look like. As you can see, very surprising. I was not expecting them to be this simplistic, if I'm being dead honest. So you have the core collection banner, which is honestly something I freaking love. Then you also have FNAF, of course, the logo for FNAF. You have the rating, you have Click Team, and what are their names? Maximum Games down at the bottom. And then the big thing is Freddy. And at first, when I first saw this, I was like, that is a fan made render. You know, they stole that from someone on like DeviantArt or something. But this is actually official. This is a brand new official Freddy Fazbear render. It seems like they've changed some things, mainly his eyes and some textures for. Uh, I believe his microphone and hat. But yeah, this is official. 
So I'm curious to see if Scott is going to use this render in the future, or if he'll go back to using some old renders, I don't know. Just a reminder that the core collection only has FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, and Sister Location. Does not include, sadly, Pizza Sim and UCN for some reason. Um, again, I really wish they had just waited until those games were finished and then made the core collection. Because Pizza Sim has now been ported to everything, so they could include it now. But UCN, as we all know, we're still waiting for. Maximum Games even tweeted about the core collection saying, Heads up FNAF fans! We are partnering with Steel Wool and Scott Games to bring the core collection and Help Wanted to physical retail for the first time. FNAF Core Collection launches on PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch on January 12th, 2021, and includes FNAF 1 through 4 and Sister Location. Get caught up on some of the central stories in the FNAF universe with optional cheats and a new trophy achievement system. FNAF Help Wanted is coming to PlayStation 4, PlayStation VR, and Nintendo Switch December 15th, 2020. Players will receive classic scenes in an updated, fully immersive experience. Very exciting news, I have already pre-ordered the Core Collection and Help Wanted for the Switch, and of course I'll make some videos on those. Moving on to some game theory news, we're not talking about the game just yet boys, just be patient, okay? We're gonna talk about their brand new merchandise. So Game Theory partnered up with the people over at Creator Inc. and Scott and FNAF, to make some incredible looking FNAF merchandise, even though it is a bit pricey. They've released a varsity jacket, an ugly Christmas sweater, a light up fab for hover grid LED light system, <laughs> a god dang faz coin, and I've already purchased three of them. They look absolutely incredible. You have a scarf, you have a t-shirt of the wireframe, you have a Nightmare at Freddy's t-shirt, you have a spotlight t-shirt, a palm beanie, some nightmare socks, and some black light socks as well. And now finally, let's talk about the game that Matt, Pat, and Scott are working on together. I, I wanted to make a video about this for a while, and I probably still will because I have a few ideas in my head about what this game could be. But basically, Matt does a good explanation in his latest game theory, so I'm just gonna roll the clip. Oh yeah, and I should probably also mention the new FNAF project that I'm working on with Scott that allows you at home to play against some of the kings of FNAF that you watch on YouTube each and every week. So will these kings of FNAF be able to beat the game when you are trying to actively sabotage them? <laughs> We're gonna have to find out. So Matt says that Scott and him are working on a game together where we can try and sabotage Darko and DJ Storff, the absolute kings of Five Nights at Freddy's. Now what this game could be like, again, I have a few ideas in my head and I wanna save them for a future video, but it's gonna be very interesting to, um, to see what it's gonna be like. This is all for the Game Theorist Round 2 St. Jude's livestream happening on December 1st. And it may seem like I'm trying to promote it, and that's because I am. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. They're, they're, they're gonna raise a million dollars million smackaroonies. Honestly, I had such a great time last year with the St. Jude's Game Theory livestream, and I am so unbelievably excited for round two. This is going to be absolutely incredible, and it sounds like they have a lot of exciting stuff in store. It's also worth mentioning that in that same episode, at the very end, Matt Pat says this, but who knows? I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what it is. I hear that some big things are coming to this franchise before the end of the year, and I'm not just talking about all that cool new merch we dropped. I hear that some big things are coming to this, <laughs> to this franchise by the end of the year. Um, and he says that over a panning zoom of the laser tag area from Security Breach. What do you think, guys? Does Matt Pat have some insight on the release date for Security Breach? He has been talking with Scott, not only on the brand new game, but also designing the merchandise. So, they've had a lot of time to talk to each other. So, do we think Matt has some extra info that he can't share with us about SB? I don't know. But, speaking of SB, let's move on to some SB news. So a few days ago, um, PlayStation actually uploaded a FNAF Security Breach page onto their app. This was the first screenshot that I came across. There's probably a few more. In fact, I do have a few more, but this is the one I'm going off of. It says, FNAF Security Breach Steel Wool Games. Hey kids, do you want pizza? Well, Fazbear Entertainment has spared no expense developing the world's most extreme family fun center. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex. At three stories tall, it's the flashiest, raddest, rockingest, safest pizzeria, the... And then it cuts out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've heard that before, because I remember talking about the three stories 
Um, so I think we have seen it before. It's the same description as always. But we actually get a brand new shot of the Mega Pizzaplex mall entrance. And I think it's pretty safe to say that this is an in-game screenshot. Honestly, this is such an amazing shot. I freaking love it. And we get a few extra details that we couldn't see in the trailer. It looks like there was a banner in the background that has the teasers for all the characters. You can very clearly see Freddy, and I believe that looks like Roxanne and Chica. It is a little bit hard to tell because of all the palm trees blocking our view. Also, we have an elevator. So clearly this is a very advanced mall. You have like what? One, two, two, four, six, eight, eight ex escalators and a elevator. All in the same mall entrance. You have the gigantic Glamrock Freddy statue, as well as a better shot of the shop off to the left side of the entrance. I still can't tell quite what it is. It does still appear to be a cafeteria, a cafe, some place to chill, get some coffee, get some nice tea, and just relax. And based off of this screenshot, if it is in-game, I think it is pretty safe to say that this is going to be a free roam game. Fully immersive, free roam, exploring experience. Oh, and also the game is tagged with stealth, if that doesn't help <laughs> prove the case that it's probably going to be free roam. Also, like, why create and render all of these gigantic areas, you know, like we saw in the trailer just how big some of these areas are. Why go through that struggle if we can't explore all of it? And very recently, actually, we've gotten more news about this page. It appears that it has been updated to include the name, the wishlist, the follow, the release date that says coming soon. Originally, it just said to be determined. Now, normally, you put up a page like this when your game is getting close to releasing. Now, I'm not here saying the game is coming out next week, guys. It's coming out next week. Oh my god. No, I'm not an idiot. I'm not saying it's coming out next week. I'm saying it's most likely coming out this year. Along with what MatPat said, with the panning, zoom, the panning zoom shot of the trailer saying things are coming this year with the franchise, and now we get this. The next day, it's coming soon. Literally, because it says release date coming soon. We haven't heard anything from Steel Wolf, just saying, which is very unfortunate because it's been two months now since the trailer, um, and they said they had more news coming, but I guess not because we haven't gotten anything. But again, based off of this news, I feel like we can expect it very, very soon. So that is it. That is all the news I have right now. I've probably missed a few things just because the, God, the FNAF recently with news has just been absolutely insane. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, boys. Please, God, please. We're so close to 11k. It's, come on, please. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Smash like. I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us.